The 2023 Junior Saloon Car Championship arrives at a very sunny Snetterton for an action-packed day of racing. A productive day of testing yesterday for the drivers in their identical Citroen Saxo tin top racing cars. We're a busy day today of qualifying this morning and two races coming up. Yeah, I mean, um, it's been all right so far. I've been working my way through the grid, been sitting at the back a lot, but it's making the progress, like racecraft, learning that is, is the main thing. It's not all about being at the front and being quick. It's learning how to race with a pack and how to get quicker. <laughs> it's somewhere to start, isn't it? Yes, I'd, I'd say it's a really good uh, place to start. But the only issue is I'll be turning 17 before the start of next year, so I won't be able to do another season here. A lot of people were talking about the slipstream and how important it was, but you were going it alone, seemed all okay. You, well, it didn't really phase you, did it? No, slipstream isn't that big here. It's like when I was behind the car, I only gained like 0 0.0, uh, like two thousandths of a second. So having tow is like not the most beneficial thing here. Well, something sort of we've we've noticed throughout the day is obviously this is a very squished timetable. You've got two races very close to each other. It's going to be important to stay out of trouble in that first race and not get any damage. So you're all good to go for race two. Oh, 100%. We've got about 45 minute turnover time between races, so definitely no time to fix anything. So just got to keep it clean, make sure the car's going fine, and send it in the second race. Absolutely, pace was looking really good, keeping right on the back of Dara um, and you know trying to find a way through. But unfortunately, a late safety car sort of prevented that. That must have been quite frustrating for you, despite still having such a good result. Yeah, it was to not be able to have a, a chance of the win, but um, you know, second place isn't bad. Back to second in the standings, I think. So we uh, just got to keep chipping away now. <laughs> Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do make sure you go and subscribe to the channel. Now, all of the interviews that you've seen in this video are on my channel in full, so do go and check those out if you if you want to see more from the Junior Saloon cars. Um, and we'll be seeing more of them later on in the year, um, towards the end of their season, um, when they arrive at Donington Park, all being well. Um, but yeah, it goes without saying, go and check out the Junior Saloon cars, whether you're just a fan of touring car racing or you know, you're looking to go into junior racing at some point. It's a great series. Go give them a follow on on social media. If you've got any questions, just go and go and ask. Uh, they're always happy to help. A bit of a personal note, this probably is gonna be the last day of interviewing for me at Snetterton for a little while. Um, there's a lot of changes, very exciting changes going on behind the scenes here um, at Hedgeworks Motorsport. Um, so yeah, this might, might be the last day of interviewing here at SNET, which as a lot of you will know, regular viewers will know, this is my home circuit. Um, but you know, change is good and there's lots of exciting and very different things coming up in the future for, for the channel. But until then, I've been your host, Louis Hedge. Thank you very much. <laughs>